Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Halen today, along with... Mason, first me to a kill at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 70. Uh, we have made it past the dread number 69. And yeah, to give it a quick explanation for anyone new, uh, Showcase Sunday is where we, well, show off for up to four... Well, we try to go for four games, usually... Uh, it, it, we get that amount sometimes more or less depending on things uh, and yeah we just try a few games see if they're any good for streaming or just personal play and uh yeah we, we give each about half an hour i really i really should just i really should just write out a line you know, for this specifically or something but oh well and um, yeah the first game we're starting has a rather noticeable art style Anyone yeah. who's ever been on Newgrounds probably recognizes it because I think the people who <laughs> made this came from there. Yeah, and, uh, I can say the, 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 yours earlier, and I can say we have not played this on the channel earlier. And it's why is it not? It's not responding to my controller. So give me a second whilst I restart this. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, yeah, I really dislike it when controllers just refuse to or games just refuse to recognize controllers at times and come on there we go put it back into position since it's windowed yeah i, I have heard of battle block theaters a lot says many you just have re refers it a lot just i see many of this other spin of games but not this one for some reason i'm i'm not aware of spin-offs of this series but let's see they have many but yeah, as we said, this is Battle Block Theater. We're going to give it uh, about half an hour once the game actually starts. So, yeah, here goes. Uh, normal mode. Uh, <laughs> let's not. Oh dear. But yeah, they have. M I was going to say, they have many games. And uh, yeah, you. I have played this game before, so I have a few things unlocked already, but let's start with just a normal phase. Uh, can we deselect here? Because these are extra things that I've got unlocked. Uh, apparently not. Oh well. And starting the timer. Hmm. So... Hmm. Is there a way to restart this or something? Let's see. I'm sure. Oh god. I, I gotta try to remember. Uh, the, the only name I remember of the spin offs, or if you could call it spin offs, as they are more being set in the same universe, you just have the same art style, is Pit People. And, uh, and there's another one that I know Worst Pre Made ever also played. Where you all play as four knights, apparently. Which, so is there no way to reset this? Hmm, that, that would complicate things a bit if we can't actually reset the story on this, because, yeah, we typically try to get some. <laughs> to, yeah, we typically try to get some story, whereas the games restream, and if we can't reset it here then that's going to be a bit of an issue, huh? Yeah, that... Hmm. It's kind of weird. Let's see, I'm, I'm going to keep looking through things. Let's see, player set, no. Hmm. Player, no, that just goes to the same thing. Yeah, we could... When you're not in the game system, okay. Uh, yeah, it would be awkward to have to go to here at every point that there would be a cutscene, and well, I'd have to n actually know when there would be a cutscene. Uh, we can reset the level, but that won't do anything here. Because, well, <laughs> it will only reset the level. Hmm. That kind of is like an oversight. Hmm, let's see. I have all of these unlocked already. I have gotten through the story of this game before. 
Hmm. Let, let me actually do a... Let me do a quick Google. Uh, and accidentally blind the here again because every time an extra window pops up in the same monitor as OBS, it somehow screws with OBS and Discord. Uh, let's see. Battle, block, theater. Nice. Nice. Reset. Yeah, reset progress. Can I delete how to reset story? It's. Uh... It's server side, so no. That's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, supports. Okay, yeah, that would. Hmm, let's see. Uh, to, to figure it out, this method is kind of simple. However, it will not reset everything, only your level progress. Anything you've done in terms of unlocking things in the gift shop and your player data will be retained. Okay, that that isn't too bad actually. Let me see view hidden in folders and files and folders. Uh, make sure the game is not running. Find this specific file and delete that. Okay. Switch to offline mode. Okay, that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure about all of this because I don't want to break the game whilst I'm at it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that means uh, we will have to skip this game when it comes to streaming for story, at least. But I can at least show it. Uh, I can at least show it gameplay for a while. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just give this a few levels and then move on to the next game. And well, as is obvious, it's a 2D platformer. Chapter one: Betrayed by Hattie. And yeah, each level has these, these well, each world, quote unquote, has these levels that we can get through. Oh, it smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick and hungry at the same time. <laughs> and from there, it's just sim, quote unquote, simple. Get from one place to the other. I swear that 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 narrator is. Almost in all their games. Okay, we have a double jump. That also works. Oh dear. Teleporters. But if we go in the water, yeah, we drown. And there is something over that way. Yeah, in each level... In each level... There are those gems to collect, which I believe, you know, hold back progress and such. Or, okay, I didn't... <laughs> I completely forgot them about the yarn balls. There we go. There there are three in each level that you... Yeah, the, the gems are required for progression because, well, as you saw, <laughs> it remains sealed. Okay. Get that one. And yeah, you are judged for both your time, how many... Uh, and no. You are judged for time and finding the uh, yarn ball. Let's see, there's a... <laughs> and yeah, like with Bastion that we had a bit ago, Half of the fun is just the narration, though it can get repetitive on some things. It's... Time to once again grab the key to research my headphones. Okay. Well, I have a long cable, I can have my headphones on while they research. Okay, double jump for this one. Let's see. Okay, double jump to get out of that trap. Now there was that teleporter way back. Is that a return thing? Uh, yeah. Some of these will just spit out instead of attack. Okay, so the yarn ball is hidden behind that thing. Also, why is there six gems now all of a sudden? And yeah, for the most part, this game is your standard platform fare. 
Uh, you can play it co-op. Let's see. If we do that, and there we go. Now I can hear again. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Just found the yarn ball. But yeah, uh, there's plenty of your platforming fare in this game. You're exploding platforms, platforms that you can pass through from the side, but not the bottom, the top. And you can also pass through them from the bottom, of course. Uh, water that drowns you, and yeah. Things will get more complicated later towards the end of the game, of course. And more difficult. And I just noticed that the cursor was on the game. I didn't notice that, actually. Okay, let's see. Nothing there. Don't know what the ducking is for, really. Okay, quickly. I saw the one of this narrator is one of the developers. It uh, could be. For again, he appears in, as far as I know, older games. I think even Aldris was a bit in pit people to be uh, both the narrator, but also the main villain. Okay. This is a giant four-arm space bear. <laughs> and uh, we need only three of the gems, unless there are more to be found. Uh, oh, no, no, just remember, I, I actually... I think mean, actually, you, in early days knowing you, Joke that I, for some reason, imagine you sound like him. Before we first time spoke, that is. Okay. Uh, that is all of the gems and such, I think. And yeah, let's see how we did on time. But yeah, the whole story is basically that you're being forced to perform for a bunch of cats. <laughs> And yeah, there's the gift shops where you can buy stuff, of course. Let's see. Yeah, weapons and tools for yarn balls. We have we have five, six, so let's do this. Let's see, we get a golf ball. Okay. A post where you can I'm trade not. stuff with other players. Holy. <laughs> okay, it's just testing out random buttons. This is what left trigger does. Right trigger has us posing, apparently. It said something with the boat before. With the right trigger, I think. And yeah, here we can change exchange gems. Ten each for unlockables. <laughs> like that. Just faces and such, mostly. Achievement Jailbreaker. Okay. Oh, wait, the cost has gone up to 15, it seems. <laughs> okay. Dear. Okay. What is... Prisoner Concessions device. Okay, this is just... They just doubled up so people can both go at the same time with these. And yeah, up there is... Uh... <laughs> uh, if... Actually, let's play a... Yep. Uh... Can't see... Mm -hmm. Okay, we can select the shape of our face and then... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's new. It's new grounds, uh, it, or it's from it's new ground style. So of course, <laughs> things get wacky. Uh, let's actually exit and see if we can get to the movie uh, thing, so we can at least show the base of the story, not the trailer. Okay, so there's a chapter. Okay, there's a movie for each chapter. Uh, but I don't remember if they are at the start or the end. So that's at the very least. Watch this. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies. Mm. 
And a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? <laughs> but it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentleman. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, twas a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high. Everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise. Rise and a huge, massive storm blew it out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? Said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you. Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time. Twice as big. Would you show you? As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of bullets. It's off. Ah! And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother. And everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, hey, be nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Huge giant waves thrash the boat to and fro, fro and to, carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving abyss of the deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me, splash, splash, and there was this huge whale like, and it made it super scary, and I think there was a shark, yep, there he is, oh god, and then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts, land ho, and bang, 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 smash, a shipwreck, as foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. Uh, uh, yeah, from there, basically, <laughs> all of those friends got captured. Uh, an evil-looking hat got put on Hattie's head. And, yeah, now now everyone was forced to perform for the cats. Yeah, and, and yes, people, all, all their games are... But how would you describe the storytelling? Uh... New grounds, and that pretty much says everything I think for anyone familiar with new grounds. Yeah, I, from all the new ground games I see in other place, this one stands out. <laughs> yeah, there's also Castle Crashers. Uh, awesome Pretty much Funking every, actually started as a. It's it's. Friday Night Funkin' didn't really start with uh, New Grounds, but it was certainly in part inspired by it, and it helped revive a lot of New Grounds stuff, uh, from, I believe. It, it, it's, it's very interesting to see the kind of things that people have been making for that game as mods. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot that people made mods on that game. Yeah, and I... Let's see if this is it takes place before or after each chapter. Uh, if... It, with that, we can deduce then when we would have to, well, start these up. If we do uh, decide to stream the, this game at some point, we would just have to, well, stop at the end of, or start of each chapter for, for a movie. Which wouldn't be that big of a thing if it's it's at a set time. Yeah. 
Let's see. You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? I would. And you know, a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Boat. I I mean, they do the same for you, and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land, food so stupid delicious, one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat! And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely lass always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate. So that's good. And then there's this guy, and this handsome fellow, and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned. And they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning, he gave everybody flowers and presents, and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never. Something fishy's going on here, and I think I... I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary. I actually can't tell if that is the, at the should be at the start or the end. I'm presuming the end, but that means that there is a, there's there's I remember a prologue thing or something between the first cutscene and at the very least that. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Good. I'm not. I want to say this game is a maybe. It, at the very least, just the random narration and stuff is fun. But I'd rather not be missing out the well, the front bit of it. Hmm. Yeah, like I'm glad I had the chap the stories like the chapter here, like. But if you're gonna have those videos, have all of them, not just the chapter ones only. What if I do it like this? I think you should pick cool and good things and not dumb and stupid things. Let's quickly. Uh Okay, so we need to have other players there for that to work. So not that doesn't work as a workaround. Uh yeah, let's label this as a technical maybe. Uh, I, as in, we need to get it to reset itself. Yeah, or... You know, there is a way to see all the story. Yeah. Like if there's a setting for that or something. So yeah, it doesn't look they... like it. But yeah. let's move on to the second game. So let me swap controllers, because this is a console game that's up on the list. And, uh, yeah, there's been a bit of controversy around some of this so let me just start that up again yeah bayonetta 2 and yeah, anyone who's been keeping an ear on things also let me double check okay i can hear the sounds i can mm -hmm. hear the sound as well okay just get good as a double check because capture card uh yeah there's been a bit of a controversy going around and if we had actually done a showcase sunday before this uh, we would have been giving out misinformation or incomplete information. But uh, let's leave it at that for the moment. Anyone who uh, wants to look things up, you can look it up. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I think we actually did confirm that the situation had become more complicated. Okay, sounds a bit low on my end, but oh well. Sounds just fine on my end. Okay, as 
A and B. Swapped and such. Okay. As is clear, I haven't played this game before. I've never actually played the first game before either. Though it is included in this game, I believe. Let's see. Uh, I wonder... I... I wasn't sure if I have the first or second one Let me see. in my shelves behind me. I know that's Mario Strikers. Where is... Where's my big Yoneta box? Uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Includes download code 4. Okay, so it isn't included in this, but it is... We could download the original Bayonetta with this. Okay, I'll just have to... Uh, I'll just definitely have to remind myself too. Uh, yeah, at the very least, let's get started expired. here. For some of those codes have an expiration date. Yeah. Okay, records of time. The end. Damn it. I keep, I keep getting annoyed with A and B being uh, swapped because... Uh, let me double check. Where is my 3DS and such? Uh... Uh, maybe I'm just misremembering anything, but I believe before the A button with uh, uh, with Nintendo stuff was the lower button and not the left, uh, not the left button, right button. No, no, it, the lower button use is normally the one on all other consoles, except for Nintendo. Okay. Starting the timer. Oh dear. The universe of light and dark, where, yeah, where perception is reality. Very classy camera. Oh, immediately control. The legend of Ace. A legend from the dawn of time. Okay, this is odd. The Y button is attack and no X button is attack. And the Y button is shoot, but the X is at the top. Uh, where are we? There we are. Okay, incoming. Yeah, there is a lot to keep track of. In okay, I still suspect that I have the first game. But that's a maybe. Yeah, we're on top of one of those things. And those visions became our uh, yeah, th this is odd to have the upper button be this basic attack one and not the shoot button. The eyes that created the world. I'll need to double check with other controllers if those are switched here as well for some reason. That one as well. Yeah, I, I can't really pay attention to this narration. Oh, big boy. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes Wait. of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Out of the air. I have no view. clue what button. The most feeble thing in nature. He, he but now... I think those are heavy attacks I'm doing now with the B button, with the A button of every, all things. 
the inheritors of the eyes of Aesir have been granted the power of creation. It's, it, let me try the shoulder button trigger buttons. It, it, never mind. Okay, just what the hell is going on here? Okay. Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. Okay, I'm guessing that was supposed to be the future or something. I think this guy was from the first game. Definitely going to need to play the first game to make any sense out of this. I've, I've seen a full let's play of it. The eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages. Now, basically, a short summarization I can make of this game is it's similar to uh, Darksiders, as in that both Heaven and Hell are not, not very nice at all. Yeah. The only one I remember, it, it, they are very good games. Just, just pity what was going on with the, the former voice actress. Yeah. She's done a lot of drama with questions. Let's say this, I, I can understand why current fans are disappointed with her. But again, if you want to know more information, look out on YouTube. For okay. There's way there's something else going on there and yeah. We we are, we are not meant to be a drama channel. See, I'm looking mostly at the at the uh, A, B, X, and Y buttons, but they remain the same. It seems that's going to be annoying. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'd have preferred it if <laughs> these controls were more customizable because, yeah, having your ranged attack be the button that your finger is on the most besides the jump button, that is, I would call that absolutely terrible design. Yeah, like, for the time I play games, they are following similar system like a PlayStation, but like, like one button is a jump, even if the different symbol is usually in the same position, Except when it comes to Nintendo games. Uh, also, here you can look in the right corner there. Just A is to the left and B is to the right. Whilst the buttons are in the completely different order. So, <coughs> you'd think A would be the button to the left. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember if it's always been the case with Nintendo stuff. But... Yeah, let's let's stop complaining about that and actually check out this level. Yeah, I'm sure the, the other, other Nintendo because I played is uh, Nintendo 8 bit, which well, then you will have A and B and arrow buttons, so not much to go by. I have played 64, but that was so long ago. 
Okay. Also, originally nobody expected this game to ever be made yeah, until uh, yeah, Nintendo decided to fund it. That's well Sega. <laughs> yeah, Sega were the original creators of it. Uh, this game was originally on the you know, Bayonetta 1, was originally on uh, the PlayStation only, I think. And yeah, Platinum and Team Little Angels are the actual developers. This is a nice way to do credits. Yeah, even though a little cheesy. I'll have to double check the audio of the recording after this because to me it sounds rather soft. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now. Was that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you. For free, I dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg sobbing like a schoolboy? <sighs> this is why I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <coughs> uh, shit. But if it's that, I get torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of inferno you witches I... go to if you break the contract. Forget about it. I'd off the fucking wing bastards all damn day. Oh, hey, what the hell? <coughs> <coughs> What the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Oh. Done and done. Let's go home, Zoe. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, yeah, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of it. Uh -oh. know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. Forget about it. And what's this Cereza shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. And now in light news, the annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities, set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. The Platinum Stars, oh, Team Platinum. Really? The Platinum Stars. <laughs> Talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. <laughs> Go 
Going around like it's freaking crazy taxi. What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. A jet. I want a toy jet. You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue, I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards, you hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please! You hear that? I want one of those! The thing's flying in the air right now! That's the one. That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Back it up nicely. It's a present for God's sakes. I'd sooner have expected his ass to get thrown out in the... Yo! Uh, the years are maybe coming, Enzo. <laughs> Premium sized. And here comes trouble. Third Sphere Angels Acceptance. Yeah, I think. Oh dear. Yeah, that suit of her is made out of her hair. <laughs> uh, would I even call it innuendo if it's this blatant? Yeah, they, they, they are not beating around the bush with this game. No, they didn't with the first game either. Nope. <laughs> no. It feels like they've taken up a few notches already. Uh, yeah, basically the shorthand I'd give for this game is Darksiders, but even more anime. Yeah, with a bit more mature humor. A bit. <laughs> All of it. Uh. No. Uh, has it, I think they, I think Bayonetta might be the one of the games that may have brought interest for people to look up the, how to say, original design, the, the style of angels. Yeah, because biblical angels are not at all like people typically think of with uh, the winged humans and such. If you actually go look for original or historically accurate, no, yeah, which be, Biblically accurate would be the correct term. Uh, if you go look for biblical accurate descriptions of angels, uh, they are <laughs> they are horrifying. Like yeah. eyes all over the fucking place. Yeah, like if you thought only the demons were horrifying, no. Oh, demons yeah. were extremely diverse, and so were angels. And we uh, have the kicks. Fun fact: for people may recall the term seraphim. The earliest depiction of a seraphim was not a six or eight wing angel, but a huge burning serpent. Uh, yeah, as a spectacle fighter, this game has quite the <laughs> combo list. Wait, did you really just say fuck off? It's still sweat a lot, but. I love the game, at least I, the one I had sort of played and it was a frame play. I want a CD for PlayStation 3. However, I suddenly start to realize I'm a bit worried if you can't stream this on Twitch and YouTube. Or actually, you, 
You can, you can just... Yeah, it's one of those... On the edge. There we go, and if we evade at the last second, we don't get a parry or anything. We get Witch Time, which is basically <laughs> slow-mo. Okay, I do like that they put in these tutorials like this. Okay. Okay, that makes the controls a bit more understandable than well, it's the flailing fest we had before. Halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force. Used in business transactions within your, the Inferno. Okay, we have aerial attacks as well, of course. And if we do end up streaming this game, or with the original Bayonetta as well, of course, uh, of course I'd be playing on the lowest set bit of difficulty because I... Well, fuck those guns, I guess. I am not good with spectacle fighters. Also, how is this thing still flying without a pilot? Coming. Uh, we're fighting with the power of anime and Satan. <laughs> Go. Oh, there. This game, it, it, I really do want to stream it just because of the fucking fun we could have with all of this. Yeah, oh god. The, the name for the attack sometimes. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going Climax. Attack enemies and build your magic gates, then use your built-up energy to unleash amazing special attacks. Umbrun Climax will allow you to yeah, unleash a barrage of infernal weaves. Okay. Left button there. Yes. Double checking because I, I, we can be stupid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There, there you really used to use a lot of words you definitely can hear in features and such. Like, Let's, let's face it, it, it is a very cinematic game. Yeah. However, they are obvious aware the double meaning of many of these words. Oop. So, yeah, people, when you see some words here, we expect it to have a double meaning intentionally. Yeah. Hey, just smack him away. And yeah, on the extra heavy hits. Oh. Speaking of heavy hits, the torture attacks are still here. Okay, th those who appear or should appear when an enemy is weakened enough to be taken out. Oh. Uh, though it also seems to be a bit random. But uh, they are. Creative, let's say. Each enemy should ooh. Each enemy should have its own torture attacks to suffer through. Ah, and here comes Jean. Well I remember I was an enemy in the last game. 
Yep. Oh, now to come the big boys. This one's not as vulnerable to interruption. Yep. <laughs> that fucker spinning. Okay, let's try to deal with the big boy. Pick off his pony show as well. There we go. Oh, that's a dip. That was the same enemy as before, right? I guess there's, there's different torture attacks for the same enemy now, even. Yeah. Should have expected that. Don't stand behind the horse. <laughs> Ooh, low health. There we go, again. And there. Ooh. Green Laurel. A laurel-shaped gem that contains vital essence in crystallized form. Revives one's fertility. Okay. When ob Oh, when obtained. Okay, so a full heal. I think you missaid a word there. Uh, what then? It wasn't a full heal. Uh, I hope you said vitality, but it's so that you said fertility. <laughs> yeah, vitality. I think the game is already affecting you. Yeah. <laughs> However, <laughs> this time I will not blame you for it. Okay. There we go. I think the more megatons you put into an attack like that, the more... Uh, well, they're all palers, but let's face it, they're bloody rings. The more rings we get. And that's the timer going off. But I kind of want to say... We finish off this level still. Since I... Oops. Speaking of... <laughs> Ooh, hello. Second Sphere Powers, Believe. Uh... Okay, we have ourselves a boss fight then. Uh, shall we? Uh, we are not doing that that blah. very fast at all. Uh, can we actually kick you? And so yes, we can. Okay. Nope, missed. Wait, there's an anime bayonetta. Uh, I know that there's a show of it at the very least. It might have been on Netflix or something. Too early. If on Netflix, I probably should want to watch it, but I did not know of that one. For, you know how people say that normally when try, people try to make a, a series of a video game or a movie, it usually goes badly? Yeah. Come on, we've missed the Umbro Climax twice now. Oh, fuck it. Okay. There we go. But so far, I feel like, despite Netflix's reputation, oh. But that bit, again, let's be honest, every net, streaming network has some form of damn controversy. But when they go on Netflix, I feel like they probably one of few that has pulled off well with making series and movies oh, based on games. Uh, for example, Castlevania, yeah? Yep, Castlevania, Cuphead. I think there's more that I don't remember at the moment. Forgot the caviar. You think they're still open? Uh, after all of this happened in town, I think the entire city is going on lockdown. It's not Christmas without caviar. Let's finish this quickly then. What? Uh, oh wait, yeah. The, the... I, I forget there's caviar on Christmas table since I'm so damn picky when it comes to Christmas food. Oh, we got health from somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd ever touch caviar. Like, just the very idea of what it is. Just fish eggs. Just, yeah. I, I, I say this. Callous caviar, like caviar on two with a small red. They are... That's it is. I think that if you were to eat caviar, you don't eat those. But they're more prepared. Unlike the... You know, black ones that are basically just board raw or just raw. But yeah, I, I ate caviar as a kid, then I stopped. Uh, okay, sorry. 
I misunderstood or misremembered, but the, the Umbran Climax is just a super power, uh, super damage mode for a bit. Okay. And there we go. Finish it off. This is beating the absolute shit out of it. And here we go. That did not look. <laughs> that did not look like it would sound like a freaking elephant. <laughs> what the heck? Uh. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Devourer of the Divine, Gamora. But just... Wait. Uh... Yeah, the thing is, when the um, uh, <laughs> I get the feeling this is just going to keep on and on and on. But yeah, the thing with Bayonetta and Jean is basically they they are in, they have uh, contracts with demons, so that when they would die, uh, well, during life they have in <laughs> amazing power would be just a. A short, you know, which just be an understatement, but uh, when they would, it, yeah, basically it is just selling your soul. Uh, oh dear. Shall we just, shall we just leave it there for now, or shall we continue on <laughs> with this madness? Well, we should to... leave it for now, otherwise we get stuck. Yeah, we've we've already gone uh, given this over longer than. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I, I'm definitely going to put this on a yes list. Uh, I'll have to double check that download code for Bayonetta if it's still uh, functional. Yeah, for, they are good games. Again, pit with the drama, the original voice actress that seemed to have... Basically, short version, she had lied to the fans, apparently. Yeah. And just made a wound mess with it. Many fans are disappointed with her and probably give more support for the new one. It's sad, simple as to say, it's sad it's just happened, but... Yeah, it's just a case of... Yeah, celebrity just knowing not to shut up. Uh, uh, basically, uh, this this would be a difficult, a bit of a difficult subject, but... Uh, yeah, celebrities, uh, and I would definitely say she is a bit of a celebrity voice actor because she is very well known f because of Bayonetta and perhaps others. Uh, but yeah, sometimes uh, sometimes people just stupidly reveal that they are not as uh, laudable as people might think them to be. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, and again, we suggest you people to look up for more information on YouTube. For better picture, for is it not easy this this? Yeah, is it not easy to describe just flat out? Just yeah, she did she did some bad things. Well, yeah. Leaving that aside, let's move on to the third game. Let what me move this up into position. Wait, is this where are we now? Are we still? Switch or no, this is back on the PC. All right, with Beasts of Maravilla Island. I have no freaking clue where I picked this up. It might have been part of a bundle. What? Be okay, uh, first off, these don't look like they I guess it depends on the vision. Like, when I mean, no, you see a beast, 
You think someone feels something big, fearsome, or something just big and mighty? Yeah, that, that is more of a modern belief. If a beast is based with the old uh, or original of something definition, it was basically any wild animal would be considered a beast. All right, so, okay, then I guess it will be correct to call this a beast, even though... Let's they look, yeah. look that terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, I have no idea how this game is going to control. The world is full of magic, patiently waiting for our senses to become sharper. WB Yeats. When I was young, my grandpa used to fill my head with crazy stories about a magical island. As I grew older, I knew better than to believe in old fairy tales. Nice artwork. Yeah. Why am I doing this? Going to a fictional place I only remember in my dreams. My dearest Marina, do not mourn me when I am gone. I have lived a life in service of the beautiful creatures of this earth. A lifelong passion I hope I've passed on to you. People think of Maravilla Island is a myth, and every day it is losing itself. Yet nobody can tell. How can we say what we do not know? Notice the stories living around. Everything is interesting. Look closer. So, I leave you my camera and my journal. Photograph Maravilla's majesty and bring back something beautiful to share with the world. Okay, did not expect a photography game. Is this basically going to be Pokemon Snap on the PC or something? Maybe. I like it already. Hmm. It is... At the very least, it is very... It is caught our intrigue. Oh, yeah. No, they, they, they do... Here's the thing. They did one thing that's... That's apparently become a pet peeve of me of late, I realized over the years. Oh. Like, opening a book near the fence of a boat on open ocean. Yeah. <laughs> that thing would so end up in the sea. Yeah. Like, okay. I don't know why it's a pet peeve. Probably because I respect books so much. But still, it, I, yeah, I don't know why it's a pet peeve. Just, oh, like I is, don't do that. Yeah, if you're not Especially, dropping it, you're getting seawater in it. Yeah, <laughs> it can ruin it quite a lot. And in these games, those books can be very important. Okay, just added an extra minute just for our rambling. Let's see. Okay, I'm on my own from here until tomorrow morning in any way. Gosh, I hope this is the right island. Otherwise, this is going to be one short adventure. I'm gonna grab my food. Oh, throw my food into the machine. Nope. Oh. Okay, you might want to look back for a moment. <laughs> and it's gone. I'm still here. What the heck? Okay. Harold? Is that you? Whatever it was, it looks like it's gone now. Am I going crazy? Okay, so some of these lines are voiced, or am I just not hearing things? Nope. She voiced that one. Right. Now, be right back. And, but you know the usual, Hillian. Don't die. Let's left trigger. Okay, we have 20 photos. Round Ruby Beetle. Aspiring wildlife photographer. Okay, let me... I can use the I can use the mouse as well. It seems W S D. Let's see. Great job. This well, yeah, this beetle was a creature of the islands. Animals are placed in your photo book based on which environment you found them in. Use L B and R B to flip the pages. This will it swipped. Okay. A. Okay. Nice. It repeats itself even. Very nice little feature. W A and D. Okay. Or oh, it's is it swapping between different ones? Never mind, but 
Press B to put your photo book away. You can always open it again by pressing that. Okay. Now, I bet there are critters all over the island. I wonder how many I can uh, find to photo the photograph. Ugh. Give me a bit of a moment. Uh, it seems I forgot to activate something on some of these sources. Uh, let's see. Properties. Uh, why? That just filled up the entire screen monitor. That's filled up the entire screen on both of my monitors for some reason. Uh, let's see. Capture third party. Yes. Okay. Uh, is it on in these as well? Or is it not? It is not here. Okay. Is it on this one? It is. So the rest from there down should be good. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> Ew, headset on. What the heck? Yeah, I, I still don't get what the hell is causing that with OBS and Discord. And uh, why were you flashing me this time? Uh, because the uh, <clears throat> the games weren't set, or some of the uh, game captures weren't set to, uh, well, capture the overlays like Steam and such for when achievements pop up. And uh, Okay, okay. Okay, graphics are a bit low, but that can be excusable. This isn't a AAA title, of course. Yeah, but... Oh, wow. Th those are some big-ass butterflies. <laughs> These are unlike any critters I've ever seen back in Los Angeles. I, I, I read about this in Grandpa's journal. Let's see. Uh, that, project... <sighs> that voice did not match up with the text. Yeah. But, again... This is not a triple A thing. Uh, I'll have, I'll leave, I'll need to look into. Yeah, there's there, there's probably not a big thing behind this. That's what I'm a, you know, trying to say. Let's see. Yeah. I remember I used to love flipping through this journal as a kid. It's been a, a long time though. I barely remember what's in it. Good little explanation. Oh. I should jot these creatures down so I remember what to look for. Okay, we have our objectives yeah. there. Still, I have to say, it's a lot of passion here, and even though it's maybe it's, it's your team, I say they have done a very good work what yeah. they were able to use. Let's see. Crystalline bugs. The bugs of Maravilla, uh, uh, Maravilla or Maraville. it was said earlier, I missed, uh, I've already forgotten a bit, uh, uh, consist of many durable species. Gem-like structure on Admin. It appears the crystalline structures on their bodies are not present from pupation. Okay, so they're gained later. Faceted crystal shell. Rather, the creatures built them up throughout their adult life, minus the giant snails. Okay. Mervillan uh, butterflies. Mervillan butterflies <coughs> exhibit unique, and, uh, unique striking patterns. Some of them even disguise themselves to look like other animals. Uh, this makes them particularly intimidating or confusing to predators, but to us it gives them a sense of wonder. Yeah, there, are, there are some types of butterflies that are really freaking good at camouflaging. You you might have seen online uh, oh, videos it, it, of I, uh, butterflies that are disguised as leaves. I have seen some in real life for... Like, we don't have giant mosses in Sweden, but they do sometimes end up in Sweden. Okay. And... Uh, have one of those giant moths, a uh, giant moth, I repeat, end up in a old, old, old friend's uh, balcony. Okay. And it was massive. Yeah. We, 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 we talk like a... Uh, how to say this? Like an extra freak half bradwurst with wings? <laughs> okay. Probably bigger. Yeah, plenty big at the very least. Yeah. What, what's this? B birds of the canopy. A quick observation of the jungle's canopy greeted me with some of the most curious birds. They have a penchant for mimicking the na native flora of their home, specifically flowers and fruits. Or in the case of that one, apparently a banana. <laughs> banana birds. Yeah, we saw ring, that in ring. the intro. <laughs> ring, 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 banana bird. Uh, oh dear. Imagine my surprise when I went to take a cutting of a plant only to have uh, what I assumed to be a flower fly off from my hand. Oh, hello. Uh, da, da, da. 
Okay, this is basically what she said earlier. And if we can uh, the respect you have for this island allows you to create deeper connections with its creatures than I ever could. Finish my mission, my Nitya Precisio, that I that my precious niece, I'm presuming that translates to. I'm not good in Spanish. And remain humble, for we are all beasts on this earth. There is magic all around us, we just have to look for it. Papa Vasco. Okay. Grandpa always said this island and its inhabitants were magical. I see that now. Oh. The more photos of animals I collect, the more people will understand and care about this island. Like he did. Okay. I'm pretty sure... It, it, this doesn't make sense for me. Like, if people were unaware of this island and have shared that it exists with proof... Um... I'm pretty sure it would m more people would be here doing research. Yeah. Let's see. All sorts of plants here. I wonder just how deep the gameplay of this game might go, or if it's just oh. Pokemon slap and Snap combined with the walking simulator. I think yeah. I remember Grandpa mentioning that the plants in this island are photosensitive. Oh. Yeah, you, you were going to say something? Uh, I would say... I suspect they probably have a bit more story than Pokemon. Then yeah. again, I've played Pokemon for damn ages since Game Boy and the ones, so maybe they for once been better in introducing more story. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. At the very least, I'm very curious about this game now, so it's a strong maybe at the very least. Oh, yeah. Maybe the flash that my camera makes will be enough to make that glowing flower bloom. Yeah, this one. See? Oop. Sparking the lily lamp, and... Uh, okay, uh, Jack wants his beans back. What the heck? Now that's photosensitive. All it needed was a little flash to shoot a beam of light. <laughs> and the stalker drew is something out of the fairy tale. Hmm. Well, if anything like the fairy tale, I might be able to climb it. Just don't okay. climb up to the clouds. I'm not seeing a stamina system, so that is nice. A little bit janky in the movements, I think, but again, far from a triple A. On top of the branch, they seem so familiar. Hello. Yes, their tail twining is a giveaway. It's uh, a mere villain Quaso bird? Monkey? I should look at the journal. Okay. Rainbow crested Quetzal monkey. Quetzal? Yeah, Quetzal probably. This monkey of paradise chooses to nest in the un understory layer of Meraville's uh, uh, forest, hiding it from predators. These affectionate monkeys twine their tails together in times of stress, or just to let one an another know that they care. Remember, jump Grandpa wrote this information down to help you. If you're ever stuck, check the journal. It's as comforting to them as a hog. These monkeys sometimes twine their tails at night, twine tails at night, and wake up with <laughs> bed head on their fur. Okay. And now we have objectives of getting. Okay, not just yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, those those have just been revealed. I thought for a moment we had to ca photograph a certain amount of them, but no, we need to get photos of them t twining their tails, gliding, singing, and dancing. Okay. Grandpa was quite the scientist, but these colorful friends are just cute bird enemy among bird monkeys. <laughs> Wait, bird, bird enemy? Monkey? <laughs> bird enemy? The, the bird monkey. The bird monkey binky is much better. Aww. It says in the journal that these creatures twine their tails together. I should get a photo. Okay. Well, we can get that right here. Ah, oh, that was a cute photo. Where should I put it? Is you know, there is a primary creature in each environment in the you know, in the jungle? It is the rainbow crested Quetzal monkey. Every primary creature has four documented behaviors. When you capture one, it is an objective photo. Objective photos will appear in the labeled spots under the environments in the photo book. 
If you take more photos of the same subject, select the displayed photo in the photo book to view those new photos. Okay. You can place the displayed photos at any time or replace by selecting from these extra photos. Try taking several photos of that thrill tiny binkies and select your favorite. Okay, we have only one at the moment. So yeah, let's get a bit better one up close. Uh, uh, I think my food is done. Okay. So don't die. There we go. Much better. Uh, now where do we get to that? Oh, hold on. Oh, that just brings out all the text. Uh, how do I get to the photos? Hmm. Or, hmm. Okay, I'm pressing A, but it's not bringing me anywhere. Oh, well. Let's see, then. Are you going to... Giant... Yep. Okay. Mayor Villain Lobster Claw. Okay. And... That's another new Rainbow Bromeliad. Oh. Oh. Who's on the tree? Hi, buddy. And whistle? Maybe it'll come uh, say hi if I whistle. Oh, it's one of these. It's one of the birds. Maravillan Mango? What? Maravillan Mango Kakapo. Okay. Oh, those are the butterflies. Toucan beak butterfly. Yeah, they, they look do look like butterfly beaks. Hmm. Can actually move around like this as well. Let's see. Is that anything new? Yes. Yeah, those those names, you know, the name pop-ups vanish pretty quickly, but at least they remain when you hover over it with the camera. Angel Trumpet. More Toucan Beaks. That's new. Pale Blue Fin Ring. Okay. Trump. Oh. Okay, one of the monkeys. Okay, that's going up pretty damn high. Oh, now it's gliding. Okay. Hmm. We got some new <laughs> banana peel toucan. I've seen this one before. Dripping orchids. And back. Welcome back. What a miss. Uh, one of the monkeys climbed the tree and is now gliding around. And we can't get any photos of these, apparently. Yeah, it seems that we can fo we can photograph both the fauna and the flora of this world. And hello. That's... Uh... Uh, yeah. uh, can we just... Okay. Uh, 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 we're kind of breaking the game a bit. I... Uh... Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, let's save game. Let's hope it doesn't put us back. Let's hope that puts us at a, you know, the, the checkpoint and not on the ground. Otherwise, we'll have completely broken the game. Yeah, for... That could... I, I have been leaning towards yes for streaming this, but that... Is a bit of a big no. But more of a concern. Hopefully there's a yes. very yep, rare... Point. Oh, thankfully. It's humming Malachite Grasshopper. It looks like it fell in a... <laughs> it looked like it fell into a bat of neon. 
Okay. Where is... Okay, we're getting into the tree line now. We're I, I said into it. the canopy. The, the game is definitely pretty. And it's its own little art style that I kind of like. Yeah, it looks a bit chunky, but it's, it, it makes up for with being colorful and such. Like, just, being, Ooh, yeah. just for models being a bit rough doesn't mean that it's bad or anything, if it's... Uh, if it's worked with. Oh, that's new. Indeed, oh, that oh, it no, seems to have worked with it into its own, just to, to be part of the art style, kinda. Mm. This is kinda all well and good. Emerald the... Birdwing Butterfly. Uh, okay, that's a damper. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a photo. Then I'll build two cans. Oh dear. Okay, what? Why does it say... Can, okay, I guess we can only have a maximum of 20 photos per species. Because it... Yeah, it's different with each of these. Oh, that's new. Yeah. Yep. Didn't mean to do that. But what the heck is that? Wait, there's an other type of toucan. But what kind of toucan are those? Hibiscus plumed dove. Okay. Hibiscus? And yet. Something. Oh, mushrooms. Banded barnacle mushroom. Don't eat it! <laughs> no, no, I won't. Okay. You sound disappointed. And I see now where we can swap out the photos. It's I, it wasn't on the journal. It was with the yeah the <clears throat> the screen button, the select button, whatever. It's in the upper left that Gretsch tells. See, so my my guess, my biggest question now is: Is this game going to be linear or a bit open worldish? Yeah, the, they they mentioned predators a few times in the book. It makes it wonder. Okay. Is there, so far, it seems like we are just to take photos, but just the mention of predators makes me wonder. Hmm. Where did that gliding binky go? It must be around here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a better, even though it's not too visible against the greenery. We have no extras here, no extras there. And yeah, you have <laughs> Maryland Mango Kakapo, which... Is every bird here going to look like a plant? I guess it could, would make sense as a, a way of camouflage, but... I peel bananas, really? Yeah, it's okay. That's enough of that. This is a new plant. Let's try not to get anything in between. I... There we go. Much better. I, I was mostly looking at the borders of the inner thing, but it's the entirety, <clears throat> the entirety of what we see. Or. Okay, that was on that. It's on these. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the only thing that gets cut off is the darkened out areas at the top and bottom. Nope. Vine tailed. Okay. Let's see, there's nests over here. Well, are these binky nests? Where are the binkies? There they are. They're a bit more ugly looking up close. <laughs> uh, you better hope they aren't hostile to people approaching their nests, otherwise you are getting so <laughs> such a... Uh, everything's flung at you. 
I wonder if I can coax them down with my whistle. But I've already done that. They made me think of a priest who dying, so except monkey style? They, they seem to have beaks. Yeah, they seem a bit of a mix between burn and monkey, but... Yeah, I think... The, the, the bink is all being more confused, like... Birds having that sort of camouflage they said to look plant-like, that kind of makes sense. But the binkies are so far definitely the ones that are making me confused. Yeah, the creatures here are very, are rather fantastical, so... Hmm. Yeah, and just the binkies happen to be... More fantastical compared to the others. More monkeys. There are creatures with uh, not really wings, but more like wingsuits. Uh, like, uh, I wouldn't even know what to specifically call them. But uh, yeah, there are there are things like flying squirrels and such. That. Uh, are mammals with the capability to, at the very least, glide, though not uh, fly. Yeah, then we also have bats. Oh, what is it? Hmm. I, okay. I feel like... I feel like they were more like monkeys with almost uh, like a flying squirrel or bat-like quality. I would have easier time with them, but... I don't know, it's still early on in the game, and uh, I'm un still unsure if this is supposed to actually be magical, mm. literally, or not, here. Topaz Rhino Beetle, and that's the timer going off. Uh, I, I'm at the very least very curious about this game. <clears throat> it might not be too interesting for too long. Uh... But at the very least, it is very curious. And it's nicely made for well, what it is. Wow, these binkies are socializing by singing to each other. Okay, if I could just mimic their voices, I might be able to bring one closer to me. I better listen to their song closely. I don't want to offend them. <laughs> what did you say about my mother? <laughs> Plains fruit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one is a, a possible yes, just probably good to do some investigation about this game first. Yeah, see how it's rated for possible bugs like we had before, how long it is. <clears throat> but beyond yeah, that, a, a, bit more a, a, good a good maybe, at the, yeah, at the very least. Definitely a good, definitely good maybe, just again, look into what type of game it is, how long it is, as Helian said, and also what, yes, what style, like, would we need to prepare for puzzles, combat, or is it just only photo with some uh, narration? Uh, I think it'll mostly be photos. Yeah, mm -hmm. those can be a hit and miss. Yeah. Oh yeah, moving on to the next game, and the last one, Beat Cop. Uh, I think there's something wrong with your donut. I, uh, I, I hope that's Yam. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's see. When we were kids, we spent countless hours on watching uh, 80s, uh, <clears throat> 80s TV cop shows. We loved watching good guys kicking bad guys' asses, saving beautiful women, and driving muscle cars into the night. We knew they weren't true, but we didn't care. We had a damn uh, good time. We had a damn good time, and that's what counted. Beat Cop is not a document about New York in the 80s. It's our tribute to all those evenings spent in front of the TV. So relax, enjoy the game, and don't take life too seriously. Okay, that is nice. Very nice. Um, we're starting. Um... Very nice pixel work. Oh yeah.
Senators Diamonds Go Missing. Unofficial sources report that following a decision by the NYPD chief, Detective Jack Kelly will be removed from his position and transferred to another division. NYDP uh, Detective Ke Jack Kelly, who shot a burglar at the Senator's Villa last Friday, is implicated in the disappearance of Precious Diamonds from a safe in the Senator's Villa on that fateful night. Burglar shot dead by NYDP... Yep. Okay, precinct 69, Brooklyn, day one, new shoes. Going a bit fast with the text a bit. I'm sure you've already met our new colleague. <clears throat> But maybe you should introduce yourself uh, again, Kelly. I'm Kelly. Jack Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Sup? Hey, Kelly. Welcome to the street. Detective. Oh, don't forget to kiss her asses. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Shep uh, Shepinski? Nothing, boss. Uh, use those two brain cells of yours to write th and write this down. Don't come back without writing ten tickets. You win 10 total? 10 each. You are more on McNabb? We can do it, boss. Brown nose. That doesn't apply to you yet, Kelly. Why, Sergeant Holloway? What's wrong with me? I don't care you know, about your past, detective. Or if you whack that poor bastard. Or if you swap the Senator's valuables. That's what internal affairs is for. Fair. They'll take care of you. But now on the streets, you're a rookie. I don't know you well enough to dislike you yet. Also fair. She so don't have to worry about tickets today. Don't even take your ticket book. Don't get any ideas. Don't fuck this up. The detective has it easy with the boss. Better write down what you need to do. Because I won't repeat myself. Yes, sir. You need the big bacon and the big faces on your beat. Um, go see Rick at his cafe. Meet Louis at his pizzeria. Ivan from the liquor store also wants to meet you. Say hi to Adam Ski for me. Visit her crank. And the electronic stores too. Because they're bitching about our lack of interest. And don't forget the church. You need to meet Father Mushroom too. There's a lot of folks on this place. Oh, and laundry right beside church. You got that? Good. Feel free to meet anyone else there too, since that'll you know, be your beat. But I don't need to tell you that, right? Your predecessor will show you around. Fat Mike knows the neighborhood like the back of his hand. He'll explain everything. Your call sign is 412. 412, got it, boss. And only Kelly gets a free pass. You definitely need to drop by the church. To pray for the boss's favor. <clears throat> the church just won't last. Enough bullshit. Get to work. Okay. And we can talk to each of them. Uh, yeah, if, if it wasn't clear already, the beat is the streets where we will work at. <clears throat> Dear. And yeah, it is going a bit quick with the chatter. I'll have to look if this, we can slow that down. <clears throat> yeah, I've also been surprised they said har. Yeah. That's. I think that's both. Basically, it's Scandinavian and German. Maybe? It, do, you, do the Dutch also use the term har? Uh, no, we have the words uh, here. H-E-E-R, uh, -E which is basically means uh, gentleman. <clears throat> yeah. But it's not really that, used. Yeah, for... Yeah, that's used a lot in Scandinavia and uh, Germany. So I'm surprised it was named here in... What no, I thought was America? No, it, it's not that he's named that. It's uh, He's German, so they're calling him the hair. Uh, I, figured, I figured that much, yes. Yeah. I forgot, I'm surprised that Bother presents most business would say Mr. instead. Yeah. Let's see, the old man's really riding our asses after that thing. Told you we shouldn't be drinking at the precinct. Drinking is one thing, but sticking our bare ass out the window, <laughs> big mistake. 
Uh, they made me do it. I couldn't get away. And ask Cortez why he wrote F the P on your ass. Really? What it meant find the perpetrator. Yeah, totally not fuck the police. Kelly, so hi to Louie. He's got a pizza joint on your beat. And try something besides the pizza. It's worth it. Girl, tell him you miss him. Okay, nice enough guy. Yeah, My but... wife doesn't get my job at all. You get the same thing, McNab? I don't talk you know, to your old lady about you. Uh, yeah, right. it sounds Let's like the guy just got drunk as all hell. Yeah, Let's see, he said... Try something else beside the pizza earlier. It makes me wonder... Are they not good at making pizza or just encouraging trying out uh, everything? Yeah, let's hope the second. Cortez, I need you to take the furniture back in. Paint's dry. Why didn't the painters do it? Because they already left and they were talking kind of funny. They left behind a shit ton of bottles and a fucking mess. And why should I care? Be a man for once. You're a feminist till it's time to move furniture. Enough chit chat, get out on the streets. And yeah, with that, let's beat it. Okay, I have seen gameplay of this game before. Kelly, you're, you've already been told everything at the briefing. Visit everyone and introduce yourself. Sure. Besides, Fat Mike will tell you what's what. Around here, you're no big shot suit anymore. Uh, suit no more. We'll see about that. Your hands were too sticky. At the senator's house. Assholes. He's your Polly? Kelly. Jack Kelly. Whatever. Call me Mike. Fat Mike. Or oh, whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. The boss told me to babysit you today. I want to get this over with. Same here. It's my last day on the street. Let's go. Where? We'll grab something to eat at Louis. It's not too far. It's not. It's not far. But we'll check in on the Adam's key on the on the way. I had to step in at his place yesterday. We'll see if everything's all right. Okay, four twenty in the area. On duty, you're four twenty. Yep. Say hi to Fat Mike for me. Not like he gives a fuck. You said it. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think he just okay. went inside Adamski. Yeah. Okay, we don't have a time... Oh, time is moving here. Slowly, it seems. Good morning, Mr. Adamski. Quiet today? Of course. The idea with the freezer was perfect. The freezer? I'll tell you later. This is Polly. He'll be working here from now on. It, Kelly. <laughs> I'm being transferred to another street. Welcome, officer. Stop by now and then. I definitely will. Okay. Visit stores and talk to the owners. They know I see and know a lot. It's my help now. It's my neighborhood now, after all. And don't stress too much. You don't have any. Uh, you don't have to do everything every day. Some days you can go insane with the amount that's happening. You'll see everyone's... Uh, <clears throat> everyone's gonna want something from you. You decide what you don't give a fuck about. Because you can't do it all. The sergeant? He won't always know if you do some shit on the side. Not just quotas and tickets. Because you can't retire on those. Relax, it's good advice. So what was the deal with the freezer? Don't ask, Polly. Kelly. You work here for a while, you'll start to get it. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Or outside the freezer. Let's drop by Louis Pizzeria. He's got some really good foods. And yeah, we move around with the... By just clicking with the mouse, it seems. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, we have our different items here. 
for arresting and, well, needed, well, actually shooting someone. And our notebook here, yeah, basically holds our objectives at the moment. There you go. Oh, a, need a policeman. Welcome to our humble establishment. Kelly, we know, we know. We Italians know everything about this neighborhood. We come by for pizza, Louis. We came by. They're transferring me and Polly's taking over. I hope our relationship will be fruitful. Of course it will. We hope that unfortunate incident with the senator. A yeah, simple misunderstanding. Yes, yes, a misunderstanding. That could be cleared up. Maybe with our help? I can handle it. Yeah, of course. But we could always be of help. Polly's new here, but he's a quick learner. It's Kelly. Now, how about that pie? I'm starving. 50 minutes. Really? Great pizza. Okay, let's go. Really? Really? What? The they really mafia? Just say it? Yeah. The mafia controls the pizza. Re of course, it's 80s based. Of course, it's going to be stereotypical as all fuck. Yeah, just. I know the stereotype of mafia, though. However, I've never seen the mafia hide inside a pizzeria. They usually go take a fancy restaurant, not a, not a pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> that, that took me off guard. First of all, I got surprised over how fine suited he was in the pizzeria, then it hit me. It, it looks so out of place. Uh, come on. Take mine, mark the violation on the ticket, write your badge number and sign it, and put it behind the wiper. Okay, so we head up to it. Uh, to the turn, 1968 Reichswagen. Okay, check the meter, expired. So yeah, that's ticketable. Uh, normally we could be, later on we'll be able to check plates, check tires and check the lights for damages or even search cars. But yeah, we, for now we have parking violation tickets issued by there, there, mark it and put it in. Ticket written up. So let's get this clunker out of here. Called for a tow uh, tro truck on the radio. Give my uh, give me back my ticket book. The boss gave you other tasks for the day. Okay. Yep. Car towing. We select that one. And yeah, we just call in a tow truck to have it removed. Oh, Fort Lobo. It was a cat. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot happening here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yes, there's a cat very high up on the beard, and I thought first it was a tentacle monster. <laughs> okay, you need to learn to pacify them. Any advice? Just be careful what you write in the tickets. You'll get an airfoil for the unlawful ones. Uh, yeah, you can write out fake t or false tickets, but yeah. But, uh, you'll use them every day, so you're gonna need to learn how to cough up uh, perp. A slap on the cuffs down there on your bones when you're close to him. Okay. That's central. We've got a robbery at Hard Ricks. Oh, hello. There he is. There we go. If, if we're in range, <laughs> it'll light up and <laughs> just fucking bolt. That guy ran in the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay. That's good work, Polly. Atta boy. My name is Kelly. Same difference. The thief looked like he was from the crew to me. Aside from the darkies, we also got the Italian mob in the area. Again, it's the it's based on the eighties, so uh, there will be some. I think the N word specifically is avoided. But, yeah, we'll see some, uh, quite some racism in this game from the characters. And we'll split up, scope out the neighborhood and talk to people. 
I've got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at the end of the shift. Remember, you don't need to push yourself to do everything every day. Let's meet up at 4 p.m. in front of Louis. Okay, and with that I presume time will actually start ticking away somewhat. I don't remember fully how this game... Oh, Kelly, what are you doing here, Captain? I wanted to talk to you, Kelly. I'm listening. We should meet up more often. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. I know they're framing you. I want to help. With the murder charge? The kid wasn't a saint. There's nothing we can do for him. But the CD needs you, and well, he opened fire on us, so once that is done, it's typically a done deal on if they <laughs> are not erupt. So, there's one condition. Those missing diamonds need to be found. There were no diamonds at the senators. I don't you know, know what was and wasn't there. You, they need to turn up. The senator is a key player in getting you out of this shit. Without him, we're both done for. That's a little shady, isn't it? You've got 21 days. Then I'm retiring. If you can't find them... In three weeks, there will be nothing more I can do. Now you're giving me deadlines? I wasn't finished. There's one more thing. If my hunch turns out to be right... This case is going to rock the whole city. What are you staring at? I wasn't sure if you were finished, sir. <laughs> I was. Now get to work. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a, a bit more context on what I said there, because it could probably be taken quite out of... Uh, it could be read and heard quite badly. Uh, basically, in any 80s uh, movies and such, uh, yeah, the, the moment a character opens fire on the police, it's a done deal on whether they're going to get shot uh, dead or not. There's rare, there's a few survivors, of course, but uh, yeah, most of the time they were shot dead on the spot. Yeah, that, that, that's eighties movies. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that how that was thing was in the eighties or not. Yeah, there's just probably some records or. Statistics about that, but uh, we'd have to go find those, and I don't think either of us wants to really go do that right now. Yeah. Or lose faith in humanity. Let's see. Good day, Officer. Good day, Officer Kelly. I'm the new cop in the neighborhood. Welcome. You're always welcome for coffee. On the house. Or something stronger. Thank you. I'll be glad to drop by. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people who pass by can have chatter on them. Let's see. Hello. Good day, Officer Kelly. Need anything? I love your figure. I just stopped by to introduce myself. Yeah, whilst we're in here, time stops. That's good. Very good. We have a very dangerous job. But, Mr. Kelly, I have a beautiful leather jacket. Perhaps you're a fan of motorcycles? I don't think red is my color. But well, thanks anyway. All of my stock is 100% genuine. Was he? Uh, coming on? Yeah, either coming um, on or v a bit too dedicated to sell jackets. Like, I know you want to get things sold, but maybe give the police some room yeah maybe, maybe you should team up with a uh, guy bruce treepwood because he always seems to have <laughs> leather jackets to sell uh let's see who was it on 11 this is a liquor store wait really am here hmm? what if that was a monkey island reference mm, a bit of a stretch let's see after the we can always find something at a good price for you yeah, a lot of people will be trying to smooch up to us, or smooch up, smooch up, or whatever the words again. Everyone will be trying to get uh, into the, our favor as we play this game. Yeah. What and there the are heck multiple is factions. happening down the balcony? Exercise. Uh, oh, he... 
Due to it was a bit great out when you were in the other room. Look, because he was naked. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next oh, visit dear. is at 21. <clears throat> Crap. Good morning, Herr Officer. Officer Kelly. You look wonderful in that uniform. Is there anything amiss? Any pain? Injuries? No, I just dropped by to introduce myself. I'm new here. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah, always at your service. Your predecessor brought a lot of medicine. For embarrassing ailments. Mm. He completely neglected his health. But there was some semblance of order. I'll do my best. Boots and boots and funny letters. What's this plaque? Uh, from the scouts. Uh, one of my inventors uh, from the war. You lost everything, unfortunately. My father fought back in Europe. Uh, fought in Europe. You two would have taken quite a trip down lem memory lane. Perhaps. In any case, I always offer the latest medicine. Discretion guaranteed. Oh. Okay. Um, Kelly. That's a hit and miss situation. It's just 29. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was wondering, if you talk about Second World War, we don't know he, we side the, uh, what was his name again? Uh, uh, the, the, the guy at the drugstore. Uh, her, her crank? Something like that, uh, a poverty blanking. <laughs> yeah, if our oh. crank was in the Fro World War II. Froggy caught a thief. Froggy, where's that? I'm new here. Porn store at 613. 10 4 on my way. Okay, someone uh, made a citizen's arrest. <laughs> now we yeah. have to go all the way back. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but cranks, yeah. Yeah, what I was saying, depending on which side he was on and he met his father, Kelly's father. It could go civil, or it could go very badly. We can also run by double-clicking. Oh, officer, are you new here? Yeah, I just started in this neighborhood. Oh, great. I like talking to policemen. I'll become a policeman, too. When I grow up. That oh. says it's a good job. Really? Yeah, you, you can always take bribes. I think I would have a word with him. He's not afraid of anyone. Okay, nice talking to you. But I'm wasting time. Uh, six thirteen was it? Yep, I like... It's like time stops during the <laughs> current conversation. Hey, you're right. Very hard lean. Okay, here's the, here's the place. There you are. I finally backed that thief. I was just looking. That's what you always say. It's okay, I'll take care of it. So, what did you do, punk? I was just looking. At what? Rubbers? Thief? Yeah, relax, Froggy. Uh, let's press my bits. Uh, don't fucking piss me off. Turn out your pockets. There you go. I'll see, uh, I see you got five bucks. Pay for the rubbers and get lost. But the rubbers are buck. Consider the rest damages. Okay. Mandingo, what the fuck is that? Fine, fine, everything. Okay. And there's the timer. I'll spread the good word about you. Glad I could help. And goodbye. Yeah, those those bubbles, there's a there's a reputation system in this game. So yeah, we can be we can piss off uh, quite a few people. And hopefully get a you can't please everyone. That is uh, one thing I remember of this game. Uh, so there's actually multiple sort of quest lines you can go through if you... Uh, <clears throat> if you help and hurt certain factions uh, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, uh, at the moment I'm unsure if we should stream this considering... Uh... Yeah, how to say.
the top is we will enter and all that. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember seeing a let's play of at least one of the lines you could take the story. <clears throat> Pardon? Ugh. One of the lines you could take the story down. And of course, one of the, the big thing that you will be trying to go after, of course, will be cleaning, clearing your name. Uh, but yeah, there are multiple ways to get that done. Uh, let's leave it at least at a maybe, or the very least. Maybe with a bit of a walkthrough, hopefully without spoilers as to get to certain things, but in overall, yeah. it's a good batch today, I'd say. Yeah, the, uh, Bayonetta, solid yes. Uh, uh, Beast of Maravilla Island, uh, strong maybe. We'll, do, we'll need to research that a bit. Battle Block Theater... I would want to stream that, but I would also want all of the story to be included without, well, too much work. So let's leave that as a low, maybe, at the moment, unless we find a way to reset everything. Yeah. <clears throat> and this one, I I am hesitant about the beat cup. Uh, let's leave it as a 50-50, uh, maybe, then. Yeah, for it looks like an okay game, just... Oh, it's likely going to go into places that uh, Twitch and YouTube might not like at all. Yeah, and I know everyone says 80s is the best decade or something, but I am um, one of those that are... I'm 50 or 50, like that is one of the years I feel like people are overhyping and forgetting uh, again that we a lot of horrible things happening back then as well. Yeah, no like, decade it, is perfect, to put it very simply. Yeah, like, there were probably fine movies and such, but there was a lot of bad things beside movie industry that were not as good. So okay. What the heck are you... But there we go. That, that was the list of all the games that we have and haven't showcased. But, all uh, right. Yeah. With that done, again, a pretty good batch. And let's go look for someone to raid. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we have... Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, I was saying, for a good batch, there was mostly one solid yes and three maybes. Yeah. But we have had ones where we had zero, <laughs> zero maybes and zero yes. True. Okay. Hmm. I'm seeing a game here called Dark and Darker. Yeah, uh, I'll, that... I'll put that. I'll open that in a different link because that's asked me curious. But I don't think anyone yeah. is streaming that at the moment that we know. But, or... but again, you and me also. I, that also caught my eye instantly. So, yeah. yes, we both investigate that later. <laughs> uh, yeah. For now, the the channels I have followed. Uh, that are online at the moment. We have WBPL76. I still don't know if that actually stands for anything or not. They're streaming Serious Sam 4, which I've heard... I've A while back I heard about... Uh, I have never played the Serious Sam games myself. I have heard of them. I know of them. And watched a few videos about them. From what I heard, Serious Sam 3 was... Uh, not liked. But Serious Sam 4, I did think... I do think I heard positive things about. I think so too. Then we have Kenya, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, uh, who is playing Remnant from the Ashes. I heard that game had a rough start. Might have been upgraded uh, since then. Yeah, I recall seeing it. It looked like an interesting game. And then we have the Only Blue Empire, aka Lilith, who is streaming Persona 5 Royal. I'm a bit hesitant to rate them because I want to play through that game, maybe even stream through that game uh, myself. Uh, and if I do, I definitely am going to use a spoilers guide because these games are... <laughs> they are long-term trial and error. And I really do not like having to redo things just to get a little bit further and such. Yeah, I played one of the Persona games and I felt like I, uh, that I can't do it due to the... Like, there's some games I, I work with just fine that there was a time limit on. But not many. <clears throat> they usually Pardon. stress me. Yeah. And as well, I felt like I, like, like I was forced to use a spoiler guide. 
Uh, yeah, so maybe them if no others. And uh, let's see, recommended channels. Edit Edward is streaming Alien Isolation. Then we have Iggy May streaming Fallout 2. Oh, that's Dil old. Yeah, Dilzik is streaming Phantasmagoria 2, A Puzzle of Flesh. I have heard of that game and I don't remember much of it, perhaps due to my brain just going, nope, nope, nope. Uh, then we have Myrithia, My 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 Myrathi, no, Myrathi probably, who's streaming Assassin's Creed Syndicate. If we do decide to stream the Assassin's Creed games at one point, Syndicate is one I definitely want to do. Uh, but maybe yes, because I just like Victorian England. Oh dear. Then we have Bella Balabam, or I, I'm, I've probably never said that name correctly, but they are co playing Cosmoteer, Starship Architect, and Commander. Not sure if I've heard of that. And I think that's new. Let's see. I've seen that pop up on my YouTube recommendation recently. Oh, we have someone streaming Cyber Sleuth. Hacker's Memory, uh. to be exact. <laughs> oh, the. Both games are good. Yes. The only issue with Hacker's Memory is. It's a good story. Yes. They do, they do bring forth the story. They are throwing a book at you in a mount. Yeah. Something was buzzing. What? Okay, someone might be trying to contact me, so I'll have to rush this a bit. Uh, so we go for Torvip Typist, who is streaming Cyber Sleuth, or someone else? Oh. Good question. Is it Iggy Maid or Torpid? Uh, let's go Torpid. I don't think we've raided them ever before. Yep, oh, that guy with the... Oh, no, that's, that's a stupid hat. Uh, I mean, uh, that's a bonus item. Yeah. Okay, from the look of it, they are pretty uh, shallow in the story, so no big spoilers. Anyways, then, slash raid, paste. And before we start that, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And of course, thank you as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, we we were talking about this a bit before the stream, but we have hit 100 followers uh, on Twitch. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, we have 101 at the moment, to be exact. And I am thinking of doing a celebration stream for that. The problem is, yeah, what to do with it. I'm I'm thinking of just collabing with someone, uh, with some others, play a few games and such, uh, on maybe one or two streams or something. I. I I just need to, I just need to figure out logistics and uh, timing and such. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we will be able to get that something like that done at least in the next month. After that, I'd say we probably waited too long for it to really celebrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and if nothing else, we could just do another long stream like our one year anniversary. That too. That that probably is easier to do yeah that, that'll be our backup at the very least uh but yeah hopefully managing to co uh, just play some co-op games with others maybe deep rock galactic maybe genshin impact just about anything with co-op in it <laughs> <laughs> for now let's start the raids and uh yeah until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and look, watch out for flying monkeys. Stream that.